What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about phasing in Revit. Phasing in Revit is very interesting because it adds the time dynamic to the whole BIM process so it's quite cool to know and it's actually very useful but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay so Let's get started. First, let's explain what is phasing. So phasing actually just brings the timeline into Revit and it adds some points or phases to your whole project. So let's say you have some property line on which you have this house and this house has a, this little annex that's kind of added there for the whole main yard that's in this case on the right side of the of the house but let's say that the that the owner of the house or the client wants to kind of flip the whole house around and he wants the main yard to be on the left side of the house so he wants to destroy or, or to make a new annex on the, the left side of the house and he wants to demolish the existing annex that's on the left side of the house so this will be a new phase of construction in which uh, you will need to add a new annex and to, de uh, to demolish the old annex and for this we're going to be using my favorite tool in Revit and that's the demolish tool and after this phase is done there is a one more phase and in this new yard he wants to add a new building here in the corner so this will be a second uh, second new construction phase of the whole project okay but anyway let's see what that looks like in Revit so here I am in in Revit and I'm just going to start a new architectural project or a new architectural template project and let's start modeling so first I like to set the units so I'm just going to set them to meters for this project it will be a very rough house and let's go to south elevation just to add another elevation or another level so you just go here to level or you just double tap L for a level and let's place one here and let's bring this one down to three meters and this one down to six oops I did three so this should be six meters okay so we've got these three levels and let's go to level one and let's just use wall or wa is the shortcut for wall and let's do this kind of uh, vertical kind of house and i'm just going to select all walls and make sure that they're connected to level three and now let's just go to level three and if you can't see those walls uh, just type in vr for view range and for this bottom and for view depth I just go to unlimited and now you can see the walls and now let's just add a simple roof over this a 20 degree roof so let's just scroll down a bit okay so let's just let's just create the roof first with an offset of one meter like this okay and yeah here for the slope let's do 20 percent and if we go into 3D, this is what we have. This is the main house. And let's just attach all walls to this roof. Okay, so once we have this, let's do the annex. So let's go back to level one. So this is the existing annex. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in WA for wall and do a simple annex over here, kind of like this. Maybe make it a bit larger. Okay, so this whole wall should go to let's connect it to level two yeah and let's now go to level two and create a roof over this so just go roof roof by footprint and again let's do an offset of one meter kind of like that connect this here and make sure it doesn't define slope and do these at 20 degrees and hit finish okay so this is the the beginning phase and let's just attach these walls attach top okay so this is the existing construction so this is what we already have on our site plan and this uh, and now we need to dis demolish this thing and model in a whole new uh, a whole new annex on this side of the building so how do you do that well first the the whole phasing uh, dialog is here on the manage tab of course you're managing your project and here you've got this phase uh, icon and if you click on it you you have some phases over here so you can see we've got an existing phase we've got a new construction phase but as you remember from that timeline a bit earlier we actually need three of these 
so we need the existing phase we need a new construction let's just name it new construction one and now let's just select this new construction and here you can see you can insert a phase either before or after so this is a new construction one so our next phase is new construction two so let's place it here and let's just call it a new construction Okay, so we've got this uh, new phase and let's just hit apply and OK. So now what happens? Where are these phases actually? So if we go, let's go to level one. And if we search over here and scroll down, this whole level has its phasing. So this just says uh, the phase filter and you should always leave it at show all. And for the phase, it now says new construction one, because usually what you're creating is new construction. And we can see this because this was built before new construction and it's still existing. And if you select some of these elements, let's select this wall, for example, as you can see, it also has this phasing uh, option. And it says for the phase created and phase demolished. So the phase created, it's a new construction. It always, when you start modeling something, you drive it at the, uh, by default, it goes to new construction. And here we have phase demolished. So you can actually set in which uh, phase you're going to be demolishing your, uh, your building. So what do we need to do? We need to go to the 3D view and select the whole building and this is all, everything is existing as you remember so I'm just going to go here to phase created open up this drop menu and hit existing so now if we go into level one as you can see this is now grayed out and that's because this level is as far as phasing goes it's phase one new construction so all of this is existing but it has been done in a previous phase and if we go and now switch to uh, existing as you can see now it's a bit darker so existing new construction so it kind of goes into this uh, I guess you go call it half tone uh, for uh, everything that that's been done in previous phases but as you remember we don't really need this annex so let's go into 3d so let's just open this 3d and here we need to demolish this thing for the new construction one so let's just first set the the phase so uh, now it gets complicated you're not only working in 3d space you're working in both the 3d space and the time so the time is new construction and during new construction we need to demolish this thing so let's go to modify and here's my favorite tool the level hammer demolish tool and let's just go and let's start demolishing these all of these walls as well as this roof and if we go back into level one which is now at new construction as you can see at new construction this whole thing was demolished and now it's uh, represented by this dashed line but if we go back to existing this hasn't been demolished yet so the, the existing phase stays the same okay so let's now do the the annex which will be the part of uh, new construction one as soon as you destroy this you build this annex over here so let's just go to wall and let's just do the simple okay okay it's a rectangle yeah so let's do something like this and let's delete this unnecessary wall okay so we have something that looks like this let's just attach it to level two and let's just go to level two to do the whole roof thing. So let's go roof and let's just make sure that it's phase new construction. So again, you when you're working with phasing, you always need to keep in mind which phase are you in. And let's just do the offset of one meter and let's go like this. Bring this in a bit and turn off slope. And here for slope, let's do 20 like the last one. And let's just finish this thing. Okay, so now if I go into 3D, so this is now the 3D is uh, for set to phase a new construction one. And as you can see here, this thing is demolished and this is the new thing. And the building is at half tone because it is existing. So we have all three presentations uh, in this current view. And if I go back into level one, as you can see, this is now regular tone. This is half tone and this is dashed line. Now, what happens when we go into the next phase and that's phase two. So let's just go down here and switch this to phase two. 
as you can see this is now gone because it has been demolished in phase two that's why we, we represented it with a dashed line but now it's gone and we don't need to represent it at all at this next phase so that's why it's gone and let's just go to wall and do a rectangle over here so this is just an addition to the house i guess for the if you have a pool so you want to keep some stuff here i don't know whatever it is it's here and let's just attach it to level two and let's go to level two make sure that we're in the right phase so uh, let's see level two phase two okay now we can see it and now let's use a roof and let's give it an offset of 0.5 and let's just do this simply and let's set these to I don't know 15 okay and if we go into 3d right now as you can see we can't see our little shed over here why because we're in the wrong phase so if I go over here and if I go here and go phase new construction 2 apply now you can see this but you can't see this and this is grayed out or half toned because this has been done in a previous phase so Revit doesn't think that it should be represented by a uh, I guess a full line and one more cool thing about phasing before I finish let's go into level one which is now at uh, phase two but let's go into phasing new construction one so this is the time where we destroyed this annex and built this new annex or demolished this one and built this one but we need some uh, communication between these two and if I place some doors over here let's do I don't know one door here one door here as you can see now the doors have the this dashed line over here maybe if I go and switch the scale you can see better the dashes so the reason we have this dashed line because Revit is uh, looking at this like this was an existing wall and to place a door you would need to demolish a hole in the wall in order to place a door and that's why it's giving you this uh, demolished uh, representation over here for uh, this part of the wall that was destroyed to place a door but anyway that's pretty much it for this tutorial on phasing it's a very complicated subject but I think I've represented the kind of the basic elements of phasing in Revit in this tutorial okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day